So glad that you could be with us today for our balloon drop and party this morning, the New Year's Eve balloon drop. So we're counting down the time till noon and I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to share with you one of the crafts that I like to do every year to celebrate the new year. I like to make poppers to throw confetti to celebrate bringing in the new year. So I'm getting ready to make mine for this year for counting down to noon. So y'all wanna join in with me? I have toilet paper rolls, some markers, some scrap paper, tissue works well, balloons, duct tape, hole punch, and scissors. So as I go along, I'll tell you some alternatives that you might want to try. So with the toilet paper roll, you could keep it plain. You could draw on it. I've drawn on mine. It says, Happy New Year. I drew a smiley face. Happy. And some squigglies and stuff to decorate mine. How will you decorate yours? Will you draw on it? Will you leave it plain? Or will you take a piece of paper and cover? You could draw on this paper before you covered, cut it out and cover it. So I'm gonna start with my toilet paper roll. And next, I want to tear off some of the duct tape and have it set aside here on my work table. And I'm gonna take my balloon because I've got my toilet paper roll decorated. I'm going to take my balloon and I'm going to cut the part where you off and then I'm going to stretch it over. Whew, can you see that? I'm going to stretch it over the end of my toilet paper roll. So when you're decorating your toilet paper rolls, you might want to leave some space that, you know, it's just plain because you're going to cover it with your balloon. To make sure the balloon stays when I start popping it, that's where my duct tape comes in. And I'm going to tape, can you see this, around to make sure the balloon doesn't come off. Okay, so now we have now, I want to see the popper in action. Let's do this. Okay, so you can take a hole punch and just punch holes in some scrap paper. I've got some scrap construction paper and I've done just some scrap colored paper. The sales ads and stuff that you might not use, ones that come that you're not going to use, you could do some of those. Any scratch paper that you have around, if you don't have a hole punch, you could tear it up or cut it up into little bitty pieces, because that's what you want is little bitty pieces of paper to go in your popper. popper. Paper is lightweight and so it works really well. I haven't tried other things. You could also take your tissue paper if you want to make some sticker tape like I did and roll it up to half a piece and make a long roll. This, roll up my tissue paper. And then just cut little strips. The long end of the roll was this way, so the paper's been rolling up all around that way, so I'm gonna cut across there. And then you just pull them apart a little bit and it's got like you've got little ticker tape to go in your popper and I'm going to put it in the cannon in open cannon end of my popper okay got everything in my popper and then I'm going to take the bottom of the balloon and pull it down and the stuff should shoot up and spray out. So when we get ready to count down, it'll be 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And then when we get ready to say Happy New Year, I'm going to go Happy New Year. <laughs> All 
All right. I hope you get your poppers made and we'll count down till noon.